Good Sunday morning, crafty friends. Sparkle here. Hey, I have a few minutes before I have to get ready to go to worship service, so I thought I'd stop by and do um, a little video for you. So over on um, Christians Crafting with Creativity, um, I always forget to go look in the events section to see if there's um, any events that I could participate in and maybe contribute a little bit. And there is this one going on, and they've extended the date until 6.30, so you still have, um, a, you know, two weeks to get your entries in. Uh, they're not entries. They're um, cards for hospitalized kids. It's an internationally recognized charitable organization. And uh, what we are being um, asked to do by um, Brandy Ward of, of our group is to make cards and send them to her and um with the summer theme for some of the children okay um you know from teenage heart transplant patient to um people have passed you know the parents and the kids and the families really appreciate just receiving something uh the only rule is that it has to be um something that's not going to fall off uh so make sure that everything is secure uh we don't know the children's names, so please um, do not address a card to a specific person. You do not need an envelope. Uh, you know, you can address it with, hey there, hey you, to a very special person, but no names, no gender. And if you um, want to write some uh, things on there, uh, they said, uh, please avoid doing like get well, feel better, or other illness-related comments. Because, you know, some of the patients have medical conditions that are chronic. So um, I did in the group post some of Brandy's suggested words. And there's a, a freebie, a, not a freebie, a download in there if you want these. And I'm just going to cut these out and um, use them for my cards, okay? And they're, they're the suggestions that Brandy gave us on here. Um, I maybe made up one. And... Um, just sign it with your first name, and you could say like Lynn from Arizona, but uh, no personal identifying information. I'm sorry, you can't do any religious comments such as God bless or I'm praying for you. Um, the hospitals do not allow that, and they will not distribute your cards. So anyway, that's an overview. You can go to the Christians Crafting with Creativity Facebook page, uh, scroll up, go under events, and you'll find this. Okay, so I just thought um, I would share that because I didn't see that and I saw people commenting and I went up there and I was like, oh my goodness, how did I miss that? So what I did, keeping it simple, I um, found some 8 eight by 8 inch, I believe this was 8 by 8 inch. Yeah, I found some 8 by 8 inch paper stack. So um, I took, I'm just making four, I, I mean eight cards. So I took and cut in half four by eight and then you can just fold them and they can either go uh, horizontally or vertically okay so for instance this one you know you can do um, one this way and one this way if you choose and then I also went on Pinterest and I found some free summer printables and um, these are very simple I don't have a lot of stickers I don't have any stickers on hand for children right now. So I thought, you know, something like this. And then one of the printables that they, that I found online. And then one of um, my verses or my words. So, yeah, I found these hearts. I think I can put them on the inside. So yeah, I'll just give you a little example. Um, you can glue things down. I'm going to pop up some things for a little uh, three dimension. So I'm just taking one of my little popsicles. And again, we don't know um, who's going to be receiving these cards. So, um, I didn't coordinate in the, in the fact that I made these 
and then I found paper, so things might not match too well, but I, that's okay. Just a thought. So um, I think I want to put this one, stay strong. them up so that you see the deco edge and um, you know this can go here okay it's that simple now they say that um, nothing is supposed to be able to come off and I, I think we're okay with this Okay, so then on the inside, um, I might just take one of my hearts, put it right there. Uh, I have a stamp with um, created by, and I could put that on here, and then. Um, Oh, I'm going to have to be careful what I write, because you know me. Um, let's see. Um, what were her suggestions again? See, I forgot. I want to write something that I'm not supposed to write. Um, hello. And then I'll just put, um, okay, so there's a card. Um, you know, if you want to ink it up, you can do that. And then this one, uh, we'll do a flip up. Uh, maybe I'll just turn this little edge up, oops, little edge up. I'm pulling these little hearts on here. Uh, and on here, just use, um, one of our sayings. I believe in you. Okay. And then we'll take one of them. Um, a slice of watermelon, maybe put that over here. So you see, it's not going to be hard to do these. I'm just sorry that I just saw it today and wasn't paying attention. So I wanted to bring it to some other people's um, attention because you might have missed out on, on uh, being a blessing to someone. Hmm. Maybe on this one I'll just um, take a little bite off of the corners up here. And um, uh, do a special person. And 
Okay? So, there's two little cards done. You get the idea. I'll make a couple more and um, I'll come back and show you. So there's just an idea. Um, I have four done. Um, I just wrote some things in them, added some hearts. Um, I uh, will finish the other four and I'll get these in the mail this week so that um, Brandy could take care of this. I appreciate her for doing this for us. And um, just a reminder, you know, just we can make something simple and yet maybe it'll be a blessing to someone. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, short little tutorial and I'll see you again real soon. Bye.